Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that on our channel, the preparation series for Cognizant is going on. In this particular video, we will be discussing the SQL section of the Cognizant exam because in every cluster, whether it is Python, Java or C hash, SQL queries question will be there for you in the exam. So therefore, in this particular video, we are focusing on the SQL queries. And guys, this is the preparation series part two on this channel. Part 1 of preparation series I have already uploaded wherein I have discussed the latest aptitude and logical reasoning questions which are previously asked in Cognizant and we have a dedicated playlist for this Cognizant preparation on this channel. So make sure that after watching this video you check out this playlist also because lot of preparation videos I will be putting on this particular channel. Okay, the link of this playlist I will give you in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to check this out and for future updates as well make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box so guys now let's start this video okay so guys in this particular video total two sql queries i will be discussing first of all i will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and finally the query of this question i will be writing so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so now let's first see the question so this is the fourth table that is a schema of SQL given to us. Write a query to display distinct hotel ID, hotel name and rating of hotels which have order in the month of July. Sort the result based on hotel ID in ascending order. Let's just read this particular line again because this is what we need to write the query for. Write a query to display distinct hotel ID, hotel name and rating of the hotels which have orders in the month of July. Let's just see the schema here. So you can see in schema we have customer table, we have delivery partner table, we have hotel details table and orders table. Now what this query is saying, we need to print out hotel name, you can see here hotel name, hotel type and rating of the hotels which have the orders in the month of July. Now the order date is given inside this orders table. So now we know that the details that we need to print are present in this hotel details table and the condition in which like <coughs> the condition was that they should have an order in the month of July that is present inside this orders table. Both of both the rest of the tables are no use for us in this particular query. So what we need to do? We need to find all the details. See hotel ID. Hotel ID is present in hotel details table. Okay. Hotel name is also present in hotel details table and rating of the hotel is also present inside this hotel detail table. But the condition that that hotel should have the order in the month of July, it is present inside this table. That is, you can see date is here. So we can calculate month also from this date. So now, now we know that, okay, we need to join these two tables and we have to write the condition and then we can print the result. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Now let's just quickly write the query. See, first, step is to find the number of tables which are involved in the above queries. We have found out hotel details and orders. Then next step is to write the query using join or anything. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Okay. So now let's just quickly write the query. But guys, before writing the query, I would like you to know one thing. So guys, on our top mid page of code bashers, we have cognizant Gen C, Gen C Pro, Gen C Next exam preparation material. So from next week or week after that, you have made uh, your exams will be started for cognizant in this particular exam material we have covered all the sections which will be coming in your exam you can see here we have aptitude questions both quantitative and logical reasoning questions 150 150 questions each we have covered with their options with their correct answers also we have java cluster covered in this material in which all the sections are clear java coding questions ui based questions html css javascript sql questions and queries we have covered here like i have covering in this video we have more questions in this material similarly for python cluster all sections we have covered and c hash cluster all uh, sections we have covered in this particular material all the questions discussed in these sections whether it is from any cluster are previously asked questions of cognizant only in a well structured pdf so if i show you the sample pdf let's suppose i show you the pdf of let's quantitative questions so you can you can see here we have the proper question we have the options for that question and we have the correct answer for it. And these questions are previously asked cognizant question only. So for every section mentioned here, we have a dedicated PDF for it inside this material. 
if I will show you the sample of SQL queries. So you will see we have a proper question here. Okay, we have the proper uh, schema of the database here and then we have the query as well. Okay, so like this every section we have covered in detail in this particular exam preparation, preparation material and all the questions here are belonging to previously asked cognizant sections only. Okay, so this particular material if you think can benefit you in preparing for your exam because it can because these are all the previously asked questions only. Okay, so it is at a very nominal price of Rs. 99. If you are interested, you can check out the links are in the description box. So guys, now let's continue with that video in which we will be discussing the query here. Okay. Okay, so guys, guys, I will be writing the query now. I will be writing step by step and then modifying the query so that things become more clear to you. First of all, we need to only find these three items, hotel ID, hotel name, rating. But to be simple, let's suppose we need to find all the details from the hotel detail table. I have told you that hotel detail table and orders table we will be joining. So let's just suppose I need all the details currently. So let me just write select star from and we know that hotel detail and orders table we will be joining. So let's just join it. So select star from hotel, hotel details comma orders okay you can you can use inner join outer join also but like this is the simple way of joining two tables comma separated okay where then there will be condition that on which column you want to you want to join it okay so on which column you want to join it where hotel details hotel details dot hotel id hotel underscore id is equal into order table orders table dot hotel id see this is the foreign key in hotel details also hotel id is the primary key and order is the hotel id is the foreign key so based on, on this column we are joining it so hotel underscore id so till now we have just joined these tables we have not done anything else now there is a condition given that we need to print out the details of only those hotels which have the order in the which have order in july july is the seventh one okay and see this was the one condition we have joined based on foreign key and month in order table see month in orders dot order date this is the column name order date so we need to find the month month of the order is seven because seven is the july and we need to find all the orders in the july only see select star from hotel details comma order where hotel details hotel id equal to the hotel id of order table this is the join based on the foreign key and primary key and month is in the july okay is in july now this was the entire query we have written now we will need to refine it see write a query to display distinct hotel id hotel name and ratings still now we have printing star but no we need to only three columns what we'll be doing we'll be using distinct keyword here and we'll be writing the all the three columns name which we, which we require hotel underscore id comma hotel underscore name comma rating okay these are the three columns we need to print okay these are the three columns we need to print this is a distinct keyword we have used here then we are joining we are, then we are joining the two tables okay based on the foreign key and we need to find only those tables who have the order in the month of july but there is one more thing sort the result based on hotel id so in the end, what we'll be doing? Order by to sort the SQL query we use order by clause. So order by a hotel ID. Order by hotel underscore ID. So this is the entire query here. This is the entire query here. So I hope the things are much clear to you now. Okay, once we have written it. Uh, let me just remove this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is the entire query. I hope this query is clear to you. You can always take the screenshot for it. This will give you the uh, correct result that is required by us inside this particular question. So you can always take the screenshot for it. Okay, so guys, if you are finding this video useful till here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And guys, do join this Telegram group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. The link of this Telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So now let's move towards the second question. Now see, total two queries are asked from you in the exam. One will be based on joins and one will be simple. So this is the simple one. Write a query to display car ID, car name and owner ID of all the cars whose car type is hatchback and SUV. 
sort the result based on the car id first of all all the details that we want in which table that belongs to car id car name owner id uh, car id car name car id car name owner id and car type so see and we are doing the we only want to find those cars whose type is hatchback or suv so you can see here that inside a single table this cars table only you will have car id car name owner id that you need to print and based on the condition of car type all these are in the four tip all these four things are in the single table only so therefore you do not have to apply any join any other table is not required here okay so i hope now you know that how you will know that whether you have to apply the join or not in the first first query there was certain details which were in one table and other details were in the separate table but in this all the four things whether it is the display uh, display columns or the uh, or the if con conditions these are all belong to a single table only so the query here will be really simple so yeah let me just first <clears throat> increase the font size here uh, just a second yeah okay so let me just write it then i will increase the font font size so select what we need to select but what, what are the column names car id car underscore id then there is car underscore name then there is owner underscore id select these columns from what is a table name cars where uh, car type car underscore type is the column name okay equivalent to this hatchback either hatchback this uh, let me just print here okay or car underscore type is equivalent to either it can be a hatchback or it can be an SUV so yeah this is the entire query now let me just increase increase the font size here and this query will be visible to you let me just yeah so see here this is a simple query because all the information that was required in the question we have found it in a single table only so that's why select car id car name owner id from cars where car type equivalent to hatchback or car type equal to suv this will give you all the required rows okay just focus on the question and first try to find out that okay how many uh, tables are involved inside this <clears throat> inside this query so i hope now this query is also clear to you it was a simple one and i have told you the first question will be based on joins and second question will be simple no issues so if you want guys more such videos on this channel regarding preparation series of cognizant do write in the comment section that yes we want videos you can specify the sections also in which you want the video i will be happy to make the video for those sections as well and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate us for making more such videos do join this telegram group its links are in the description box dedicated for 2025 batch students this telegram group okay and i have already told you about this cognizant exam preparation material uh, i have discussed in detail in this video that what does this material contains if you think this can be beneficial for you you can go check out the links are in the description box okay thank you for watching this video